you'll want to keep looking up for an extra special full moon. It's called the harvest moon. Not only will it be a super moon, but there will also be a partial lunar eclipse. According to NASA, the best time to see the lunar eclipse will be just before 11 tonight. All right, that's a little past my bedtime or in the middle of my bedtime, but I'm sure it'll be fantastic. I know, I'll be in bed at that time too, but mm -hmm. now the question is, will the cloud cover work out tonight? Because it's uh, interesting out there now. It is, yeah, it is. Right now it is cloudy. It looks like it's gonna rain. It's not actually gonna rain today. I wish it, I wish I were wrong, but I don't think <laughs> it's gonna rain. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about this uh, lunar eclipse. Let's talk about what you need to know, and then we'll go in and talk about the cloud cover. How's that sound? All right, so this is a partial lunar eclipse. So what's gonna happen is that part of the Earth's shadow, it's gonna block out the moon. And what happens is that it's gonna turn kind of this bright blood orange, if you wanna call it that, heading into today. The partial eclipse begins at around 10, 13 p.m. And here's the Earth's shadow right here. We call that the umbra. And then what happens is that as we get towards about at 10.44 p.m., that's when the best part should be. And again, this is all depending on whether or not we have clouds or not. And then by about 11.16 p.m., we start wrapping this puppy up. And so you're going to miss it if you're not outside within that hour time frame between 10.13 and 11.16 p.m. tonight. All right, latest thoughts on cloud cover. I think if you're across eastern or northeastern Ohio, good luck because we will have plenty of clouds. Central Ohio will have gradual clearing. And then Western Ohio, we have clear clearing skies. So I think that the further west that you live, the better the chances are that you could see this as we head into tonight.